Welcome back, Rise Up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. We're checking out Elix by Piranha Bytes and THQ Nordic on the PlayStation 4. We're jumping right in. We have continue new game, load game options and extras. New game it is. Easy, normal, difficult, ultra. Let's go with normal. Magalan. Home to a civilization of millions. Until a comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers, the clerics, the outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threaten the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb, selected to change the fate of Magalan. Good. Looks like a dude from Infamous 2. Uh oh. Looked like somebody was walking up behind him, but that might have been him. Jax, you it failed was your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. like that, huh? They stripped him down. 
down. Took all our stuff. Did they change change his clothes or did they just take his armor off? Take healing plant. Alright. Square jumps. More like hops. Circles like a back off strafe kind of deal. I don't know what that was. A heal healing potion, maybe I just used up. Holster weapon. Basic button presses down. There's another one of those. I should be dead. Healing. Things. I better move before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. Okay. So far, so good. Graphics are decent. Take arrows. Heck yeah, take arrows. We need a, we need a bow now. All right, what do we got here? What is this? What is this crap? this stuff guess not well that's not good okay, here we go no that stuff doesn't that stuff doesn't break they damned this up for some reason Climb up here, I think. Maybe. We should be able to cl climb over that. Not very high up. Come on now. Crawl underneath me. How do you. Where do I go? way come on where do I go Health has decreased. Use healing potions. <coughs> Use quick slot. I don't have anything in my quick slot. I drank it all by accident. Oh, we can climb right here. Okay. I must have been here for days. The Elixes. 
gone for my system. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Kallax take them? No. No. If Kallax had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. It was someone else. This is Zidane. Enemy territory. If Kallax returns, or if the Berserkers find me, I'll be dead for sure. Not bad graphics. I mean, they're not great, but they're not bad. Mana plant. Oh boy, there's... Oh, I like that. We got different views. That's actually really cool. Not a lot of games do that anymore. Ruins. Maybe I could find something useful in there. Skin. Buy quick attacks with R1 and heavy attacks with R2 to combo. Scrap of Elix left uh, to combos. Body. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Healing potion, there we go. How do I... Melee weapons, iron bar, small healing potion. Okay, how do we assign quick slot? Okay, there we go. Small mental energy reserve. Okay, there we go. I shouldn't have drank those first two. I didn't even realize what I was doing before. This is a Santa can. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. I can't repair this. Well, why wouldn't you, like, take it with you or hide it? Because you can't crouch. from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on.
Didn't see mama. Now I did. Jeez. A big old rat. Shotgun shells. Take a map. Take a map. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Now piece three revealed. Raw meat received one. But it's sick. Why would we want sick raw rat meat? There's those yellow spores underneath there. take out or put in. Save it for later. Begins chapter one. I'm here in enemy territory. What was Calix doing here so far from Zacor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. Use the elevator. So far, I'm really digging it. It's like old school type of linear game with a cool story, a badass character. I sit in every chair, every prompt I see I do in these games because you never know when doing a certain thing is going to unlock a, a PlayStation trophy or you just never know. There's no crowd you know, there really is. Evacuation sequence initiated. That's nice. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observatory. That's not good. Where's your jetpack? The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers it? of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What oh, could go wrong? His brother killed him? That was his brother? That's messed up. Hold square to use the jetpack. Oh. There we go. Alright, so you just tap it and then hold it. Oh, they don't hurt you. So I don't have to kill them. But I will. <coughs> What 
fuck is going on? There we go. Take off. Toilet paper. Toilet paper is always good. Bone. You get one bone. Oh, chest open. I'm assuming that I'm going to max out at some point, so at that point, I'll just dump all the garbage. I'm really surprised there's no crouch. That would be really helpful. Magnesium torch. Hammer. Everything comes in handy. Iron ore. Torch, hey Dan, torch, the land torch. of the berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Calix's job for him. Oh boy. Well, what the hell? Why didn't he just kill me? Just knocks me out. Is that the guy that took all my stuff? Come on, <clears throat> get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me. Then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well... A safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. I didn't see any albs, I didn't see anyone. Ha, huh, you're scared of the elves. Huh, you're scared of the elves. Aren't you? They kill most people on sight, the lucky ones. If you're unlucky, you'll end up a slave or stripped down for elix inside of one of their converters. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and 
You can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. Huh. What you say is logical. Sounds like you have been brainwashed. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. Hmm. And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But, be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna oh, stay here, geez. or come with me? <clears throat> What if I decided to leave? Then you can go. You can only join one faction, but there will always be ways to explore the world. That's what I do, after all. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. I want to find the thief who took my armor. I will come with you to Goliath. Jeez. So I don't have to decide right now. This this is just like Fallout. How you have to pick a faction and all that. It's pretty cool. But I want to kind of search this area before I make a decision to follow this guy. Save game. Attacking or evading costs stamina. You can't perform these actions without stamina. It makes sense. that thing it's like I don't know what the hell that is it's like a that is one ugly creature the bow didn't do very much damage to him
Oh my god, there's dinosaurs down there. Holy crap. track oh it's an old road what the hell is that is it a dinosaur or is it a scorpion Harry or evade. <laughs> I am not strong enough. Oh, let's reload. Maybe we should just go with this dude. Instead of messing around. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just go with this guy. I will come with you. I want to find the thief who took my armor. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. Dang it. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well, and keep up. Keep your eyes open. We're entering the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. And neither of us want to end up as rot boar food. Are you ready to go on? We should get moving. We got ourselves an axe. Are you ready to go on? You're not going to keep saying that, I hope. You ready to go on? Are you ready to go on? We should get moving. Are you ready to go on? Dude, really? You're not going to keep saying that. We should get moving. Okay. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. 
If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Let's keep going. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. All right, and follow me. Oh, there's one of those dinosaurs right there. Oh, wait a minute, what do we got there? Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a little one. We're okay. Hit it! Jeez, it was slow. Okay. There's a guy over there. Why are you trying to fight me, man? <gasps> oh man, he got me. I think I'm going about this the wrong way. kind of glad that I had this save point though because if something happens that I realize this guy's a douche and I shouldn't have followed him I want to find the thief who took my armor well for anything stolen near here recently where do I find him huh but hey I So we could go east and find my stolen equipment. Oh wait, let's go get that axe. I wonder if it's like there all the time. Or if it's random. We're about to find out. It's there. Okay. So
that's where I have to go to get my stuff. Okay, so we're not going to do that right now. We're going to save. Okay, let's do this. We're going to save real quick. We'll create a new save. Um, let's see. 28 minutes. That's the newest one. And then we're gonna go I and collect. Go to you to Goliath. Goliath. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Not now. Let's talk later. Okay. So, foot of the mountain. Yep, this is this is the one. Okay. Are you ready to go on? Yep. Not now. Let's talk later. Okay, watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. But they need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. All right. And follow me. Let's go. Are you ready to go on? Yeah, man. I'm just picking up stuff on the way. Chill out. stuff over here. Hey, a little rat. What have I been doing? Oh, we can make stuff at a fire? Fried meat. Cool. That's awesome. There's one right here. Oh yeah, there's a guy down there. Oh yeah, we saw we were over here before. Okay. So now we need to go back to dude. Let's go find him. Mutant sleep. Alright, let's go back and find this guy. Oh boy. I don't want that guy to see me. Where'd he go? He's over here. Yep, there's the yellow dot. I see him. Okay. Let's go. What are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. 
Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot borers, got chased into those ruins, and haven't come out. The only good enemy is a dead enemy? Eaten by rot borers. That is no death for a warrior. Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Maybe they're alive. Haven't you checked? Checked on the enemy? Yes, well, maybe you're right. We're all allies in the fight against the Alps. But those ruins are dangerous. The rot boars might still be there. Why haven't you joined a faction? Hmm. Why did you choose the Berserkers and not the Clerics? Maybe I should join the Outlaws. Maybe I should join the Alps. Hmm. Why did you choose to join the Berserkers and not the Clerics? The Clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. Maybe I should join the outlaws. Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert, but they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival comes at the cost of anyone around them, even their own kind. Maybe I should join the Alps. You don't join the Alps. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me. But Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want. But all that will await you is misery and death. I have no interest in factions. <clears throat> I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Hmm. Let's save here. You just leveled up. Open your audit. What is that? Agitar with the touchpad. Oh, okay. We have 10 points, so. Strength. Toughness. Ranged damage. Intelligence. All right, so let's save again. I'm pretty pumped that you can save whenever you want. So let's save three, okay? Let's go into the ruins. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Those clerics should be around here somewhere. Ugh. 
Not now. Let's talk later. We should get moving. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. They took me out quick. They're like kind of like lions, these ones. Man. Oh, this dude's about to die. Load your last save point. Load game. Save game three. That's the one we want. Man, what a cool game. It's definitely... It reminds me so much of Fallout, and that's a good thing. So we gotta make a decision here, go the tough path, or go straight towards his camp. Look at those enemies over there running around like crazy. What a cool game. So that's where I'm gonna end my first gameplay with Elix here on the PlayStation 4. Once again, Elix is by Piranha Bytes and THQ Nordic. I appreciate you watching here on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So like I've said two or three times, this is just like Fallout in so many ways. I really like that they give you options and choices. You're making the decisions where you're going, what you're going to do. Um, and, you know, the outcome, if you die, whatever, it's your fault. But they allow you to save a lot. And that's that's super cool. So I can't wait to say uh, what this game has in store. I mean, the story already is is it's it's pretty in depth, and uh, I can't wait to get some cool armor and some better weapons. Uh, the enemies are super hard, which is good for longevity. I mean, the game's not easy, and I'm not gonna fly through it, so uh, that's a good thing. I'm I'm super interested in playing playing this game though, and and getting through it and finding out uh, more about the the story and this whole world and all the different factions and I just can't wait to play more so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys soon